Hi friends, welcome to Let's Learn YouTube channel. Mainframe interview question. Recently, I have received an interview question from one of the subscribers. So the question is, let me read out the question and then I will explain you the concept with respect to question. And then we will see the example also. Okay. And basically, the question is to write a sequence number. So how many times a product code is repeated on an input file? That many times. Basically, we need to write a sequence number and whenever there is a change in the product code, the sequence number should again sh should start from one for that product ID. For example, if we take input file is having these product IDs, A01, B03, A01, B03, A01 and C04. If you look at here, A01 is present three times. So we need to write sequence number like for A01, we need to sort the data. We need to sort the input data and then we need to write sequence number like one, two, three. So if you look at here as A01 has repeated three times, I'm giving the sequence number one, two, three. Now, after this, basically we are getting a new sequence, new product ID basically. So whenever the new product ID be encountered, we basically change the sequence number again to one and we are again counting the number of these product IDs, basically the B03. B03 repeated two times. So we got sequence number one and two. And coming to the last one, C04 is the product ID and it is present only once in the pro input file. So only the sequence number is one. So that is what basically the question is all about. So we should write a sequence number for every product ID. How many times that product ID is being repeated? So whenever there is a change in the product ID, then we need to again restart the basically the sequence number again from the one. So if you look at here, that is the basic concept. So friends, now jump into the theory part. Okay. Before jumping into the theory part, friends, at any point in this video, if you feel this video is helpful, please like the video friends. I'm just expecting 100 likes and 100 shades with respect to this video. Okay. Now, so jump into the theory part. First, basically with respect to theory, to sort the data, I mean to sort the product ID because we need to sort the product ID, right? If you look at the input data, we had product ID in random order, okay? First, I need to sort the data. To sort the data, what I did is basically, I'm using sort fields equal to one comma, three comma, ch comma a. Why I am using one comma, three comma, ch comma a is basically the product ID is starting at first position in the input file and it is of three characters. Due to that, I am giving one comma three. If you want to see the input file, let's go and see the input file also so that you will be able to understand. Okay. You will be able to understand. Let me open the input file. Okay. This is my input file. Okay. I'm opening the input file. If you look at an input file, we are, we are having product ID in the not in the proper sequence, but when you look at the columns, basically it is starting at the first position. It is starting at the first column. Okay. And it is of three bytes due to that. What I have given in the sort fields equal to one comma three. This is basically one represent position. Okay. One represents position. Okay. One represent position. Now what is three? Three represent length, length, basically length of the product ID, length of the product ID. So our product ID is basically of three bytes due to that I have given starting at first position, first column, and it is of three bytes due to that I have given one comma three CH is character. So our data is in character format. I have given CH and A means a basically ascending order. A means ascending order. A means ascending order. Ascending order. So we want data output data in the ascending order due to that I have given A. Okay, if you want D, then uh, descending order, with, then we should give data D, uh, here D basically. So I have given sort fields equal to one comma CH, one comma three comma CH comma A. So it is used to sort the product ID in the ascending order. That is what basically, okay. As our input data is in not in the proper sequence, I need the data in the proper sequence that is A01. After A01 records are completed, I need to start with A02. Once A02 is completed, then B05. After B05 is completed, I need B06. Once B06 is completed, I need C07. So that is how the data should be in the sorted order. So data, output data should be basically with respect to sort card, we'll get data in this manner. With respect to sort card, whatever I've given, sort fields equal to 1 comma 3, 1 comma 3 CH, a have given right due to that word, the data will be in the output file in this manner. So that sort card will write the data 
basically in this manner okay b05 we will get now here because we are sorting the data on first three bytes okay and b06 is the last one and c07 is the last one okay this is how the output data should be in the sorted order how we are achieving this we are achieving this with respect to this field now coming to the actual part of writing the sequence number once the data is sorted we need to write the sequence number so while coming to the actual logic we are using outrack and overlay okay outrack and overlay let's see what is outrack and what is overlay and we how we are achieving the sequence number okay outrack this is a control statement used in the sort jcl okay to specify the record level processing during the output phase of a sort operation basically whenever we are doing a record level operation we should go for outrack that is what outrack is all about okay coming to overlay overlay this parameter is used to specify the replacement or addition of a data in certain positions of output record so as we are doing addition of sequence number so due to that we are going for the overlay overlay can be used either for replacement or addition of data replacement of data or addition of data so so as i am adding the sequence number due to that i am using this overlay okay due to that i am using overlay now coming to the actual logic that is sequence number logic so to achieve sequence number logic what i have given is this is what i have given why i have given this and we will see the explanation for this part okay now here what is six basically six starts at the starting position at which position i need to write the sequence number i need to write the sequence number in the output file at sixth position due to that what i have given is i have written six here basically i have written six here so six this indicates the starting position in the output record where the data specified in the overlay parameter should be placed whatever the data specified specified in the overlay parameter should be placed at the position so i need a sequence number and that position should i specify so i mentioned six here so sequence numbers will be written in the sixth position in the output file that is what the six is all about coming so now let's jump to sequence number okay what is this sequence number one comma z d okay Z sequence number is basically this is total this sequence number one comma z d this specify the generation generation of a sequence number it is used to generating a sequence number what is sequence number is basically it indicates the sequence number should be generated it indicates the sequence number we are going to generate a sequence number what does this one indicate is one indicates the the length of the sequence number field the length of the sequence number field so as in the input file i have i'm having only a specific number of product ids maximum is only three i have getting only sequence number till three only if i if i am having a zero one as 10 times then the sequence number will go till 10 okay then we should give this uh, the number of digits in the the length basically the sequence number length is basically two we should give but as i am having only the maximum number of our records is three for any product specific product type i have given only one because three is the maximum sequence number for any product id in my input if you are getting more than 10 then you give two if you are more get, getting more than 100 go and give three if you are getting more than 1000 then you go and give four depending on your data you should change the length of the sequence number okay that is what the one and z is all about z indicates the sequence number treated in the zoned decimal format okay so start now coming to start equal to one incr equal to one so start equal to one and incr equal to one tells these parameters specify the starting value and the increment of the sequence number increment of the sequence number the, what does this mean is this means that the sequence number should start from value one and increment the sequence number for every time by one so that is what start equal to one and increment equal to one so if you look at input file we need sequence number one two three and whenever the product id is changed again we need to start one two again the product id is changed again one and two the product id changed one and the product id changed one so i am incrementing the sequence number by one this is what the increment is all about okay i am starting it at first value one value and incrementing it by one if i need this value to be three then the increment should be changed to two but i need only the proper sequence so i should give two here when i need two here i should give increment here 
only one increment one when i give here two basically the values will change in the output file in such a manner we'll get we'll get two instead of two we'll get three instead of three we'll get five because one plus two how much three we'll get or three plus two how much five we'll get that is how the increment works so i am uh, as i am using only one value one plus one equal to two two plus one equal to three this is how the increment happens incrementing by one basically that is what the increment is all about okay now coming to the last portion that is the important point that is restart what is this restart what is this restart so restart equal to one comma three why you have given one comma three this is first question you should ask why you have given one comma three because the input file is having data at the first position first column and the product id is of three length so as it is starting at first position i have given one comma three i have given one comma three so one represents the position three represents the product id length that is what if the input file is having position at two basically the data starts at second position then i should give that as two comma three that is how then if length is of one more byte so then i should give one comma four that is how we should declare that restart parameter as the product id the key basically the key we should represent in the restart logic so restart the product id i am depending on the restart how restart restart should work basically restart should work on the product id due to that a02 a01 is of three bytes and it is of starting column one due to that i have given one comma three these parameters specify the sequence numbers sh should restart from one whenever a product id has been changed the sequence number again should restart from one that is what this is all about so these restart parameters which key we should consider that it tells all about okay these values in the parenthesis indicates position so first one indicates position and the second one indicates the length of the key based on which the sequence number should be should restart basically on what key we are restarting that specific position and its length should be given in this case it is using the first character of the record and it is of length three its length is three and it is of first column that is what the restart is all about i think you are pretty understood with respect to theory part now let's jump into the practical part of the interview question okay let's jump and see input file okay input file is having data a02 a01 a0 b06 a02 b05 a01 b05 a01 and c07 this data is not in the proper order so first thing we need to do the sorting and then we need to write the sequence number for every product id to in order to achieve that i have written a sort jcl and i am using the same input file that is each dot group dot example why i am using group means basically we are grouping on the product id due to that i have given group example okay that is what the input file is all about input file is consist of basically a0 the product ids now coming to the sys in dd star i am using output file each group dot output this is the output file let me check whether this output file is exist if it exists i will delete this and try to create a new one so as the output file is existed i am just deleting it now coming to the let's see output file is exist or not so if you see here no output file exist okay now coming to the theory part in sys in dd star basically i have given sort fields equal to 1 comma 3 comma cha this is used to sort the data in the input file it is used to sort the data in the input file so input file is having data at the starting position one end of three column due to that i have given 1 comma 3 ch comma a this already we discussed in the theory part coming to outrec overlay equal to 6 why I have given 6 because output file at sixth position first three bytes has gone and two more spaces i need required and then on the sixth position i need sequence numbers i need sequence numbers due to that i have given six so sequence number should start at six position and sequence number one comma zd as maximum records of any type in my records a01 is of three three times due to that maximum number of records of any product id is three uh, not going more than three due to that I have given one and zd zoned decimal start from position one and increment it by one 
okay after this in 72 column I have given x because this is a continuation shortcut whenever we need continuation we should give x in the 72 column after that the actual logic that is restart equal to 1 comma 3 why I have given 1 comma 3 product id is starting at first position and it is of length 3 if you see input file position the product id started at first position and it is of length 3 due to that okay given 1 comma 3 now let's submit this jcl and see whether we are getting the proper data or not whether we are getting proper data or not i have submitted this jcl let's see whether we got max is 0 we got max is 0 now go to the output file and see whether we got required output or not so our output is let's see what is the output and this is the output right let me copy this so that i can paste directly there instead of getting that confusion whether we are using same output file or not so i copied it now i'm going in the view mode and trying to see the data first the product ids are in sorted order here the product ids are sorted and coming to a01 a01 i have got three records maximum so due to that one two three i got whenever the product id got changed from a01 to a02 it got changed so it has been changed to one again from three it has been changed to one so now a02 is two times due to that i have got one and two and come again product id is changed from a02 to b05 now the sequence number should again start from one because the product id is changed here due to that after two we are getting again one so here basically b05 is two times so we are getting sequence number one and two b05 after b0 second b05 we are getting b03 so the sequence number here again should change from two to one due to that we are got only b06 as only one time due to that we got only one sequence number similarly c07 is only one time due to that we got c07 and sequence number one this is what all about the interview question guys how do we achieve this interview question okay i think this will help you to crack the interviews whenever they ask these type of questions in the interviews okay friends as i requested at any point in this video if you feel this video is helpful please like this video friends i'm just expecting 100 likes on this video okay if possible please repost also this video thank you friends have a nice day we'll meet again with a new interview question next time okay thank you